Which delicious and famous cheeses have been banned by the Food and Drug Administration in the USA? Is it one of your favourites? Keep watching to find out. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the little bell for notifications. Why are some cheeses banned in the USA? The Food and Drug Administration has a lengthy and detailed set of regulations on cheese. Effectively, they have deemed a large number of traditional European cheeses to be unsafe for consumption in the United States. Whether science and evidence agrees with it or not, these are eight famous cheeses that the FDA has banned in the USA. The most common reason is the use of raw milk. However, a few of them have been banned for other reasons. Without further ado, let's delve into our list. Number one, Brie de Mont. Brie de Mont is a traditional soft cheese from the Ile de France region of France. For more than 400 years, artisans have been making this cheese in the region using traditional methods. To this day, they use raw cow's milk and mature the wheels for four weeks. As a result of this, the FDA has banned this cheese in the United States. Number two, Epois de Bourgogne. Epois de Bourgogne is a famous washed rind soft cheese from Bourgogne in France. At the start of the 16th century, local Cistercian monks developed this recipe and would eventually pass it on to the local farmers. Nowadays, the locals still make a poisse with raw milk for the European market. Whilst this traditional version is not allowed for sale in America, you can have access to a pasteurized milk version. Number three, Kasu Mazu. Kasu Mazu is a maggot infested cheese that originates from the Italian island of Sardinia. Effectively, the Guinness Book of World Records recognised this traditional product as the most deadly cheese in the world in 2009. Cheese skipper flies, Piophila casei, lay their eggs in cracks that form in wheels of Fiore Sardo. Afterwards, their maggots hatch and make their way through the insides of the cheese. Over time, they digest the milk proteins and transform the inside of this pecorino into a soft, creamy cheese. Do I need to say any more about why this cheese is banned? Number four, Reblochon de Savoie. For centuries, small batch cheesemakers in the Savoie region of France have been making this soft, washed rind cheese using rich cow's milk. Since they make Reblochon with raw milk, it does not meet the FDA's regulations for food safety in the USA. However, you can get your hands on a decent pasteurized milk version called Le Delice du Jura. Number five, Camembert de Normandie. Camembert is a soft, bloomy cheese that originates from Normandie in France. Since the late 18th century, farmers in the region have been using the unpasteurized milk of their Normand cows to make small wheels of camembert. After forming the wheels, they mature each cheese for three to four weeks. As a result of the short maturation period, camembert de Normandie is unavailable in the USA. Number six, saint maur de Touraine. The village of saint maur de Touraine lies north of Poitiers in a region that is renowned for log-shaped goat's milk cheeses. One such cheese is the eponymous saint maur de Touraine. A distinguishing characteristic of this particular cheese is the thin straw stick that runs through its centre. Whilst the traditional raw milk version is prohibited in the USA, you will find some pasteurised milk versions. One such example is Bouge de Montrezor. Number 7. Mimolette Extra Vie. Mimolette Extra Vie is a brightly coloured hard cheese that comes from Lille in northern France. At 12 months, Mimolette has a distinctive greyish rind, which resembles the skin of a cantaloupe. If you can believe it, it's actually the work of the world's smallest affineurs, the cheese mites. Significantly, the mites create tiny holes on the rind and edge of the pat. Moreover, they make a strong contribution to the unique flavour of this cheese. Over the years, these mites have fallen in and out of favour with the FDA. So the availability of this gorgeous cheese has been sporadic at best. And finally, number eight, Bleu de Gex. Bleu de Gex is a blue cheese that originates from the Jura region of France. Actually, the locals know the cheese as Bleu du Haut Jura. Today, the cheese is still produced in small mountain dairies. Indeed, local artisans continue to use a 14th century recipe and traditional methods. The AOC dictates that cheesemakers can only use unpasteurized milk to make Bleu de Gex. And you guessed it. That's why it's not available in the USA. Should these famous cheeses be banned in the USA? The discussion around whether these famous cheeses should actually be banned in the USA is a very contentious one. How is it possible that so many cheeses are deemed safe in Europe, but not in America? 
We'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Pop a comment down below if you think one of these cheeses should not be banned. Hope you enjoyed our video. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell for notifications. Until next time, praise be cheeses.